Hello everybody and welcome to a special episode of Bungle Collects. So today I'm going to talk about coin cleaning, or should I say the controversial topic of coin cleaning. So let's start with that first. So should you clean coins or not? If you speak to anybody in the coin collecting world, or pretty much anybody, every single person will say do not clean your coins. It devalues them, it damages them slightly, uh, it makes it look as though they are maybe it's newer than they should be, or the, the, the look, the shine is not in proportion to the uh, the age of the coin. So unless it's a, a proof coin or a, a bunk coin, a brilliant, brilliant uncirculated coin, you'd expect a coin to look its age. So the vast majority of people you speak to would say, do not do it. I don't say that. What I say was, the your coins, do what you want with them, um, but be cautious that it will almost certainly devalue the uh, devalue the coin. I'm going to clean these coins because one, I like to give a coin a clean. I like to see it clean up, go from a particular state to a, to a nice looking state. And also I'm not worried at all about the uh, about devaluing them. And also this one coin in particular is beyond, it, it is beyond repair. It probably won't even clean up. So I'm prepared to give it uh, to give it a bash. So yeah, that's the, that's the warning at the beginning. Um, if you're a serious coin collector or you want to sell coins for money, don't clean them up. Leave them exactly as they are, no matter what condition they're in. Right, so what am I going to use? I'm going to use uh, this, so it's Auto Salt Metal Polish. Pick this up, I think it was either off Amazon or eBay, about £4 a tube, so it cleans uh, all, all types of things that are metal related, and I found it to be really, really useful when it comes to polishing up and cleaning up coins. I've got a couple of uh, toothbrushes, so soft soft bristles. They have a little, a little bit of uh, firmness about them because obviously you've got to give them a little bit of a scrub but they need to be soft so they won't significantly damage the damage the coin so two kitty soft toothbrushes some common garden cotton buds i'd call them uh, i guess as any americans watching you might call them q-tips so earbuds something like that so i use them to get into the into the nooks and the and the crannies another than a common garden dishcloth a common garden cloth uh, cloth that's all that i've got so the three coins I'm going to be cleaning, and you're going to see in all the different stages, I'm going to try the auto sol, see how I get on, and also I'll be looking at there's other methods as well. Uh, you can boil them in lemon or vinegar or uh, use uh, lime juice, anything that might be slightly acidic, uh, cork, you know, but put them in cork, things like that. So I have done that in the past, and I may well be trying them depending how how we get on with the uh, with the auto sol. So we'll see, but this is this is the I'm using the metal polish first and foremost. So this is the coin I'm most excited to look at. So it's a two pound coin, a claim of rights from 1989. This is the UK coin. It's no longer in circulation. In 1997, the two pound coin in the UK became bimetallic. So this is an old version. Now it's quite an expensive coin. It's got to, it's one of a, a two coin set. One's got the the bill of rights on, and this has got the claim of rights. So this coin, even in uncirculated, sorry, not in circulated condition, on eBay, on average, costs around £30. So I got this for £18, uh, £18.99, including the postage, and it's not in the greatest of condition. Now, I didn't expect it to be. Well, I was hoping it would be because the photograph on eBay was rubbish, and sometimes it's rubbish and it doesn't do the coin justice and you get a bargain, and sometimes it does do the coin justice and it, is, and it isn't particularly good. So I paid £19 for this. And I'm going to polish it up because I just want it to look nice in my collection. I'm, I'm not going to sell it on. I didn't pay a lot of money for it for it for what it's specifically worth at this moment in time. I just want to polish it up and make it look nice in the uh, in the album. So I'm really looking forward to seeing whether I can get some luster back in in that coin. This coin. So I found this in a coin hunt. So if you're new to the channel, uh, you may not know that uh, myself and Lady M we go through. Uh, two pound coins and 50p coins so we do bank runs and post office runs we get loads of coins we hunt through them we put them in there put the coins in our album and we take out the valuable ones and the ones that uh, that are worth more than the uh, the face value as well so if you're interested in coin hunts or finding coins valuable coins anything coin related do subscribe to the channel and uh, watch some of our coin hunt videos anyway i digress so this coin we found in a coin hunt so it's a uh, northern ireland no it's not it's a commonwealth games coin there's four coins in the in the set, and the most valuable is the Northern Ireland, which is round about thirty thirty five pounds at this moment in time for a circulated coin. And this is the Scotland Commonwealth Games, so the only difference is the flag. And this goes for about seven pound if it was in good nick. Now it's not in good nick. Good nick. It's clearly uh, had a little bit of a hard life and it's grubby. So seven pound it's worth if it was in good condition. Not in good condition. 
maybe it's four or five quid, maybe it's a fiver probably. So it's two pound face value. I'm not gonna lose a lot by cleaning it up if someone decides it's lost money because it looks too shiny. I'd rather have it nice and shiny and look nice in uh, look nice in my album. So I don't think I'm losing much by polishing that up. If it was a Northern Ireland, would I do it? No, I probably wouldn't because it would potentially lose value and you don't want to lose 35 pounds worth of value. Now this one, so we uh, we we reached 2,000 subscribers in July of 2020 on our channel, and to celebrate, we did a series of, of mega coin hunts. One of them was a 2,000 pound 50 pence coin hunt. So we went through eight full bags of 50p coins, and found a range of grotty coins. And this one was the worst one. So it's an Olympic. It's a 2011 Olympic wrestling. I think it's been in the bottom of a pond. It's got some some blebbing on this side. So looks like the water's maybe got underneath it. It's got black from being being submerged in water, I believe. And this coin is just this is this is worth nothing. Um, if it was in good condition, good circulated condition, somewhere around about eight pounds, maybe you might get a tenner if you're lucky on it on eBay. If it's in really good nick, this isn't. So I think this coin is basically worthless. You know, you might get a, a pound for it maybe if someone was desperate just to have some kind of wrestling on there so i've got nothing to lose by cleaning this up i don't think it'll clean up very well i'm going to try everything i possibly can but hopefully it'll look a lot better than it does at this at this moment in time because that is that is wrecked so we're starting with the claim of rights two pound coin not sure whether it, it really shows up but the, the worst part is is here there's like some extra there's some extra staining in and around the bottom here i'm not sure whether you can quite see it on these cleaning in between as well. The whole thing just completely lacks sparkle and lustre, but this is this is the worst bit. That's the bit that I'll be concentrating on. The the obverse, the front isn't too bad. You can see the Queen's portrait quite well there, but I'm sure that will polish up, polish up as well. But yeah, that this the back, the 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 reverse of the coin is what we're going to concentrate on the most. And really this kind of bottom or this 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 third of the coin. Right, get some polish onto it. So I'm just going to get the polish rubbed on first. I'm using this cotton bud to rub it on. I could just use my hands, but I'll get all my hands all clarted up. So I'm going to try and keep my hands as clean as I can for as long as possible. So I'm just going to use this to rub it on. You can already see there's a little bit of... Let me zoom in there, maybe. You can already see even just applying the polish. Just applying the polish look already be begins to bring off the top layer of dirt. It'll be reacting with the. It'll be reacting with the coin now. The the polish. As I say, I'm going to leave this for ten minutes. And see what the see what happens after that. I'll just leave that down there. So what I'll do as well. That's the first, the two pound coin done. So I'm going to do the same, with this two pound coin. That's the second one done with its first layer on. Probably put a little bit too much on there, to be honest with you. Probably didn't need to do that much. But here, ho. Right, let's uh, give this wrestling a go. And again, I put far too much on there really for a first coat. You only need to put a thin coat on. It's only the very, um, very, very beginnings part of the coating that interacts with the coin. So the stuff that's, it's got, if you've got a thick coating on there, the top bit's not doing anything. It's not reacting with the coin. So you only need a, a thin amount. So I've gone a little bit over the top there. Stick that one next to there. You can see there, that was a much better idea to make it a bit thinner. But we'll see, because as it dries off, it kind of disappears a little bit as well. So I'll see you in 10 minutes. Okay, so it's 10 minutes later. Now, I might have left this a little bit too long. I never really thought about how hot it was in here. So I'm filming this in the Bungle Collects Magic Studio, which is basically a conservatory on the back of our house. And it's 22 degrees centigrade outside. And of course, in the conservatory, it's like a greenhouse. So it's really quite warm. So it's dried quite quite quickly. I wasn't expecting it to, to dry quite as quick as that. So I might have... Left it a little bit too long, but I'm sure it'll buff out. I'm sure it won't make a lot of difference. So say I'm trying with this 
claim my rights first. This is the one I'm most excited about. I want it to look nice in my uh, collection with the rest of the the rest of the older pre-97 £2 coins. I mean, straight away I can see a load and load of muck has come off it. I'll just show you the, the cloth there. Look at that. So there's certainly a lot of uh, black stuff come off it. So I'm just applying a reasonable amount of pressure with my thumb as I rub it through the rub it through the cloth. See, this is more coming off there. So I can definitely see some luster returning to it. Right, so here we are after a couple of goes on both the front and the back of the coins. I'm sure you'll see a, a difference in this. You would have seen a lot more, but I forgot to press record on the camera. <laughs> so you would have seen uh, the stages I got before this. So this this side with the flag on, this is the, it's had two goes with the auto salt on it. This is the second buff up. And I paid some extra attention around the, the sides and most of that's gone. It's gonna need a little bit more in there, I think. See the, you can see that the mark there, there's a mark there. Uh, I paid a bit of extra attention in here to get into that groove. Gonna need a little bit more up there. See whether I can get that to be, that mark off and to be consistent around the coin. I'm sure it will. Yeah, a little bit of a rub there and that's come off. See, it's important if, you, if you're giving the coin a bit of extra attention because it's really mucky, the chances are you, you do it that, that well that the rest of the coin will need a further polish as well because you want it to be consistent around the around the outside or around the entire surface of the coin. So I'm quite pleased with that. I think that's all cleaned up apart from them particular tricky spots there. So what I'm going to do is I've got a toothbrush which I've been using. It's a soft, soft toothbrush which I've been using in... The, around the edges, around the reeded edges, around the outside, in there, and also just to give the the tougher parts a little bit of extra. So I've been a little bit impatient with the toothbrush. I could have maybe just put some stuff on and left it for another five or ten minutes, but I am getting a little, little impatient, and I do quite like to get the toothbrush out. So I won't go too mad with it. I'll just work a little bit into it, and then. Uh, left a blob down there haven't I? Work a little bit into it and then I'll just leave that and move on to the next coin for a little bit. Wow that works it's magic hopefully in there. So it might be tricky, it might not completely come out. But I'll give it a I'll give it a go. So let's move back onto the claim of rights coin. So I'm really pleased with the, the first buff of this. I think you can see I mean that the cloth is really is really mucky. This is just off the just off the three coins, so a lot of dirt comes off. So let's have another little look at this claimer rights. Okay, so let's see where we are after two goes with the auto sol. And that's looking pretty good. So both sides have had two goes, so two layers, so a blob of a blob of that on, smoother, uh, smooth round with the uh, or pushed round with the cotton bud, left for 10 minutes and then buffed off. So that's had two goes. And this has had some extra attention on the reeded edge around the outside. So I've got the toothbrush and just worked it into the into the grooves there. I give that a little, another little go. But I think uh, I think that looks pretty good. So say the warning has to be that if you were putting this, if you were trying to sell this and say it was an uncirculated coin, you, you wouldn't get away with it. And anyone who knows anything about coins will know that there's quite a bit of damage here. So there's quite a few scratches around it. A little river ding here. So the the luster on here, the shine, isn't really consistent with its condition. 
and would probably be worth i don't i don't think i've devalued it because it wasn't wasn't in great condition the first time let's say an 18 pound but it certainly will even though it might look the condition of a coin that's going for 30 pounds at the moment on uh, on ebay doesn't really I say it doesn't really stack up with the amount of kind of general wear and tear that it's had so any any coin dealer or anyone who's any coin enthusiast here, see the dings on here look and a ding there and a ding there would know that this this coin has been has been cleaned i would i would prefer it to have not been cleaned but it's for my own personal collection i wanted it to look nice and shiny alongside its sister coin the bill of rights and i think that's job done i think it really has done the business uh that auto salt and i say i might give another little go around the outside but i don't think it's uh, i don't think it's necessary and i just wish i had the camera <laughs> i had a press record on the camera because you would have seen it after its first go because it was pretty good after its first go to be honest but never mind lesson learned for next time double check it's definitely it's definitely recording so yeah i'm pleased with that i, I, re I really am pleased with that coin gonna look nice in my collection right i put that on one side because it'll get mucky while i'm doing the, the cleaning let's get back to this commonwealth coin so we've been worked it's had two goes with the auto sol this is the third go i was trying to get the, the the trickier areas where there's a little bit of extra crud on it so let's see whether then um, five minutes or so has been enough to work into work into it to get that extra bit of crud off I'm not totally optimistic because it was quite, they were quite, it's already sig significantly better than it was. Look at that, look at the muck, it's come off it, even after a, a third go. So I'm not totally optimistic it's going to come off completely, but it'll look better, I'm sure, than the last time. Let's see where we go with it. Yeah, no, they're still there. So yeah, we've still got these three, three splodges here, one. Can even argue this maybe it's a little bit there as well in this w a little bit there as well is it any better possibly not possibly not so look at this side so that splodge is definitely is definitely better but i might have to do a few work at that quite a bit to get all them see if i can get all them off if at all so overall the condition is looking good you know, it's certainly nice and shiny, way better than it was uh, than it was before. Take a little bit more work around the outside, I think. So I'm going to put a have another little go at this at these here. Put a bit more on there, and a bit more on the outside while I work on that uh, on that fifty pence that wrestling. So let's put a bit more, a bit more on. Right, so this wrestling then, so this has had two goes. This will be the third go. Again, because I didn't press record on the camera, you want to get to see what it was like after the first the first two cleaning sessions. But the first one hardly made any difference at all. Not a lot of muck came off the first time. The cloth was, there was definitely muck on there, but not a lot came off. Probably about the same again has come off this time after the third go. And I think it's because it's so ground in, it's so, so, so dirty that it's maybe just not quite reacting with, uh, with it a lot. Not only taking the very, very top layer off. So that's after three cleans. It's certainly better than what it was. You can see more of the of the people who were who were wrestling there. So you've got it's a person's feet, a one person's body off to the side, and then you've got another person here. I think upside down. On this side, so they're kind of 
wrestling each other. So it's a little bit clearer, still quite dark around around this edge here. And I haven't really done the back yet. Uh, so, well, the front as it is, the, the queen's head, the head side is known as the obverse. It's the front of the coin with the queen on. So that's had a little bit cleaned up a little bit here because that's presumably where my fingers have been on the opposite side. So I might, uh, yeah, I might stick some on here. That won't do any harm. I will leave that for, for 10 minutes or so. I'm going straight in with the, I'm going straight in with the toothbrush here to try and work this in. Because it's, it's so badly, so badly damaged that, you know, the toothbrush, the, the, the slight marks it'll make on the surface using the toothbrush will not make a lot of difference because of how damaged it is. I think we see a little bit more now there, a little bit more definition that you can definitely see the person on this side, the person's head and their body arm across there. And you see some legs in the legs in the air. So you definitely get some definition. And the 2012 is is showing up. So it's definitely doing some definitely doing something. Not a great deal, mind. Queen doesn't look much better. I fear that this auto soul might just not be the right, the right thing to use on something that's so far gone. Because it is a well, what does it say on the what does it say? It's a, it's a polish, isn't it? So a polish for all metal parts, chrome, brass, copper, etc. Cleans, polishes, protects, removes rust. Polishes metal fittings on boats, gives a brilliant shine and a lasting weather protection. So it's about using it thinly and polish with a soft cloth. So yeah, it's more of a polish really than, than they, they really get the grime off. So it might be, this is so far gone that there's, no, there's nothing to polish. So I might need to try something a little bit different for this uh, for this coin. These other methods, the lemon or lime or olive oil. I think I've even seen bo boiling olive oil, uh, cork, like fizzy, fizzy cork. Leaving it for so long, see whether that makes any difference. We'll have to see. Put a little bit more on, and we'll leave this on for a bit while we go back to that Commonwealth coin to see whether we've got them final marks out. Okay, so let's have a, another look at this and see if we can get those stubborn marks out. It might be if it doesn't come off this time, this might be the this might be the best we can do. Yeah, it doesn't look much better unfortunately. Let's have a look on the other side. Give me the other side a buff. any better so the coin itself is certainly shiny shinier certainly looks nicer in my opinion anyway than when we when we started out so yeah i think we have to just live with with those marks on that edge but the rest is in is in great nick now really looks nice and nice and shiny see a little mark there no i'm pleased with that i'm pleased with that certainly in a but if I put that on my album, it'll certainly look nice. Nicer than it did anyway. Right. Okay, we'll have one more go with this wrestling coin. And then what I'll do, if it's not made any real difference, I might leave the auto sol on it for an hour and see what it looks like in an hour's time. Right, so that's after another clean. I think there's definitely some marginal improvements there, and it's certainly in better nick than it was before we started. So the queen doesn't look a great deal better. So what I'll do 
is I'll just have a clean up here. We'll review all three coins and then I'll tell you what I'm going to do next with the, with this coin in a probably in another episode. Okay, so in review, definitely some improvement with this uh, with this coin. You can now see that it is wrestling and it's the 2012 Olympic Games. See the 50 pence on the bottom. And a little bit more definition on the Queen. That's, that's probably the, the worst side of the side that's had the least results. But I'm still pleased with that. For four, for the sake of four or five cleans with the Auto Sol, it's, uh, it's, it's in better condition. It's got strange, strange red tinge to it. So don't, not, don't, it's made of cuper nickel. So I'm not sure where this, uh, where this red tinge comes from. But anyway, that's pretty good. So if, what I'll do with this one is I'll probably do a second video and try in the mother other different piece, other different types of cleaning products. So this one, please, with this result, you know, we, we have unfortunately still got a little bit of a, a mark here and a mark there. That possibly is damage to the coin. It's like, it feels as though there's a part, a little bit of metal missing there. So it might just be the fact that the surface is scraped away. That one I think is a stain and uh, there's still a little bit of a stain there. So I might have another go at that, see if I can get that that off but either way it's, a, it's in much better condition than it was before we uh, before we started and it looked nice and shiny in the album and I think this is the one that I'm most pleased with so really pleased I got it for a good price on eBay buffed it up and uh, that now looks as good as any other coins uh, of this uh, of this age of this design in my album so I'm pleased with that one so if you do if you do like coins then please do subscribe to the channel and you'll see on screen there's some uh, other of our videos as well we do coin hunts looking for for valuable coins and what have you so it's well worth a look if you if you're new to the channel okay thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode